Hello everyone, Nikhil this side. So in this video, we will learn about the material UI grid system with the responsive card layout. So we will build a responsive cards with the grid system available in the material UI. So there are some basic requirements before moving ahead. So you should know the basic knowledge of the React that how the React JS works. And you should know about the material UI that how the material UI components works with the React. So now there are some basic terminologies with that. So first about the grid system so it allows us to use the grid layout available in that so the material ui grid allows to use the grid layout in a web page with using the rows and the columns and we can define the rows and the columns as per our requirement so now about the container and the items so the grid has two parts the container and the items so the container is the parent grid of all child grids and the item is called the child grid inside that and the grid container is based on the 12 columns grid layout which means we will be having a 12 columns on our web page to place the grid layout inside that and we can align that layout within the responsive breakpoints and all and about the breakpoints and the breakpoints are used for the responsive layout across the screen sizes so it is designed for the responsiveness and it is used with the screen breakpoints so as per the material UI the breakpoints we have the XS, SM MD for the medium devices, LG for the large devices and the XL for the extra large devices screens on that. So we will see about all of the things later in the course. So now we'll move on ahead to the development part. So I have opened a folder in the Visual Studio code and now we need to run the command like npx create dash react dash app and the app name will be the my app this will be the application name now so we have to wait till it completes the installation of this react app so the application is now created and now we need to go to the material ui website so to the material ui and then we need to search for the installation of that so we need to go and then we need to just click on the get started and then it will reach us to the real ui installation with the npm so we have to get this command and we have to run this command inside the app directory inside the my apps so we need to run this command until then we can go to the my app and then we can go to the source and then we can go to the app.js and then we can remove everything we have inside that from the header till the header and then we can also remove the div of the class name app and we can also remove the app.css and the logo and then we can go to the index.css we have so we can remove all of the things and then we can add a star and inside that there will be the margin of the zero pixels from all the sides and there will be the padding of the zero pixel from all the right so we'll remove all of the pre-default margin inside our applications and then we need to create here a component in the source so it will be the layout.js now we have seen about the grid layout in the introduction section so now we will see about the grid so now here we are seeing a basic grid so if i will now zoom in so now you will see this grid has a access equals to the 8 and then the access equals to the 4 so the available 12 column width for the extra small screen sizes until the overall large screen sizes it is giving us the 8 columns for this grid and the 4 columns for this grid and then this grid is giving us the 4 columns until the 8 columns from the right side so out of the 12 columns they are giving us the 8 and 4 8 and 4 grid over there so if i will now check with the grid with the multiple breakpoints there so now you will see this grid for the medium sizes had the 8 part uh, this grid has the 4 layout inside that and same for this now this grid in the medium sizes it has the 4 and in this grid with the medium sizes it has the 8 so if i will now just uh, resize the window to the small so then you will see this grid will go to the small parts into 2 and they will be the same size according to that so if i will now just create the screens for extra small devices so now you will see this grid is now showing us x is equals to the 6 and now these four grids are as equal and this grid is giving us the 6 and this grid is giving us the 6 so out of the 12 columns this grid is now giving us the 6 and 6 columns but once it will reach the md point so now it has reached so now you will see this grid is now giving us the 8 columns and this grid is now giving us the 4 columns inside that so now these are about the grid so now we will create the grid layout in our application so first it will be the rafce and then we will now create here the grid layout so first it will be the grid and then we will import the grid from the material ui so it will the import the grid from the mui material and then inside this grid we will have a cards and for that cards we need to go to the material ui again and then we need to search for the cards so the card is here with the basic cards so i will click on the card so now you will see they will show us the cards so now if i will now use this card or if i will now use the clickable card with there so now this card is okay so if i will now grab this card from the source code and then 
it will be having this card over there so we will copy from the card component till the card component there so and then we need to paste this card inside that so, so before pasting that card first we need to add here the grid layout so the grid it will be equals to the container for the first grid and this will be equals to as the spacing is equals to the three so spacing is about the grid so it will actually allows us to add some space between all of the grids that we have on our web page and then they will be having the items as we see in the introduction so this grid will be the parent grid and now we need to render all of the grid within this grid and this grid will contain the 12 columns inside the layout and then we need to add a grid and we need to pass here the prop as the item to specify that this is a child grid and then we can also specify here excess small with the extra small screen size so for the extra small screen sizes this grid will having a three layout and then if i will now just grab it so now we need to paste this card layout inside that so it will be the card now and now we need to import the card from the material ui again so the card is now imported you can see here and the card action area is now also import now imported and the card media will also be imported and then we need to import the card content also and the typography also and all of the things which we will use here and now all of the things are now imported and now we need to see about the change onto the screen and now if all of the screens are now imported and now we need to fix all of the things like now we have only have this grid over there with the item access equals to the three and then we need to grab this card layout and this grid to four times here to compare it to 12 so this will be the four times added to there the and the four so if i will now save and if i will now go to the chrome which we have so now you will see for the extra small till the available screen size we have a four layout grid over the screen and now you will see the grid has now spacing between them so once it will go to which is the container so it will add the spacing between them and now the by default spacing if we have added is the three and if i will now change it to the one and this is known as the three pixels inside that so the spacing will be three pixels for the one and if it will be two then the spacing will be six pixels between them so all of the things are now clear inside that and now for the image for the image we have to see why this image is not coming so for the image so if i will now go there in the react card component and if i will now grab this image i open image in new tab and then we need to grab this url of the image and then we need to paste the url inside the image so it will be added there and then we need to copy this image from there to there also for this card also like image it will be having this url over there all of the image will now having a url with this so it will be this url again and it will be this url again so now we have the four columns grid onto the screen so once if i will now save now so i should see all of the things here so now we have the four and now if i want to add some more things here like now in the extra small screen sizing now we have the three column layout for every grid with the three column three column three columns and the three columns and now if i want if my screen is now bigger than the excess like the extra small device then we can use the five columns layouts inside that so for that we need to copy here this grid the last object of the card so it will be the grid item and then we need to copy this and then we need to paste after this so now we have the five cards over there so now to fix that now we need to go to the screen uh, and now we need to specify the items here so first for the excess available screens it will be added till the three and if my screen is bigger than the extra small like it will be like the medium and for the medium it will be equals to like the 2 or like the 2.4 then now all of the cards will be having this so all of the grids child will be having this medium equals to 2.4 so if i will now calculate here like the 12 column layout with the uh, if i want five columns inside that so then you will see it is coming as a 2.4 so we need to specify 2.4 so now all of the grid will be now having the 2.4 for the hair also it will be having a medium size it will be the 2.4 column layouts for every grid and this will be having the same and even this and even this after this item and this will also contain the same now if i will now save now i should see there should be the five column layouts onto the screen so now you will see so now my screen is now from the medium to large so now all of the things will now be considered as the five column layouts over the grid but if my screen will now go to the extra small so now Till here we have the five column layouts because it is now considering from the medium to the available screen size space 
and once it will go to the extra small so then you will see now it is showing the five cards layout and now if i will now add here uh, one more six like if we have here like uh for the medium we have a 2.4 and if i will now specify the lg also like the lg it will be equals to the two and now we need to specify all of the grids with the lg so we need to go to the top and then we need to specify the lg here also for the excess lg for now for the lg so now we will have a two column layout so it will be having a six grids into that from the top so it will be having a lg also it will also have the lg and this will also have the lg after this medium and if i will now copy here the one more grid to that so then there will be the six grids onto that so if i will now save so now you will see for the extra large for the last screen devices as my screen is the large so then you will see we have all six layouts onto the screen and once if i will now move to the medium screens from the large so then you will see if i will now move to the medium screen from the large so then you will see now we have the five column layouts onto the screen so then you will see we have the five column layouts and the next grid is coming in the next row and then once it will reach to the extra small so now you will see it will be having the four grids over there so these are about the grids and how we can use the grids in the material ui and we can play around with the more grid uh, with that and make sure you should see about the breakpoints in the material ui so for the breakpoints we you can go to the material ui grid breakpoints so google will show you all of the things with that so then you will see we have a breakpoint in the material ui so if we only specify the excel so it will consider from the excel to the from the excess to the excel and if we will provide the sm so it will consider from the small to the xl and if we will provide the md so it will consider from the md to xl so all of the things will be now considered to the end breakpoint which we have over there so for the excess if you will provide only excess so even if you have the excel screen size it will show you all of the layouts like if you provide the six to the xs so even with the xl it will show you the six and even for the small also it will show you the six so you can see about all of the customization with the grid also so these are about the grid layouts in the material ui and how to use the grid system with the cards so we have the cards here so thank you guys for watching the video and i hope you will like the video for the grid system and please subscribe to our channel and we have more tutorials on the material ui like the material ui navigation bar with the react and more things so thank you